Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lewis, and today we'll be talking about what is packing in the realm of 3D modeling. So, uh, if you're new to the industry, if you're getting into the area of 3D modeling, uh, this is how we create things. We actually model the characters in a 3D package. Uh, this is Blender, for example. And in Blender here, we model the character, okay? And there is a step in which uh, we need to planify the character in order for us to paint it. In another software called uh, Sub Substance Painter, for example, or even inside of Blender, the character to be painted needs to be planified in a 2D space, in a, a PNG or a JPEG, okay? So, here you can see that uh, we go up to the process and we get piece by piece and these pieces now are planified in a square by square texture. And this is the traditional UVs, okay? There's also UDIN tiles, which is basically having one texture, basically one, one space for each uh, island or each object that consists this character. I know it seems a little bit complicated in the start, but basically this episode is about a add-on called UV Pack Master, which enables you to uh, organize these islands in a more optimal way, so they are really close together and not occupying uh, a lim uh, space that you're not going to be painting with. So every space that is not uh, defined by these forms are actually wasted space. You're not going to, if you paint here, you're not painting in anything on your model, actually. So this is why a software like this exists. Um, and UV Pack Master does that really well. There are other softwares like Rhythm UV that is specially made for uh, UV your object and also packing it. So everything that is related to the, this type of workflow is covered by reason. And there's also IPAC that, which is more similar to UV Pack Master, but uh, it's a standalone software that is just for importing your model, packing that, and that's it. This is especially for Blender 2.81 and plus. So it's a really good add-on. And let's start it. So starting off, if you want to install it, there are three different, I think there's two tiers for uh, buying this add-on. There is a uh, $12 version, which is a, has less features and a $20 uh, version, which has all the, the features, okay? Uh, so when you buy it, you receive a .zip file from Gunroad and you install it coming here in edit preferences and add-ons install, okay? So you select your zip file, you don't unzip it, okay? Click install add-on from file and it will appear right here on the bottom called UV Pack Master, like this, okay? Then you click here in check and you enable the add-on. Once you enable this add-on, you click here, save preferences, and it will be available on your UV editor uh, window. And we can access that by coming here, clicking split area. Let's click T to unhide this, click T for unhide this. Coming right here on the bottom, go to UV editor. And if we click N on the UV editor, we have right down here, UV Pack Master. So here on the top, we have four options. We have Overlap Shack, Measure Area, Validate UVs, and Pack. As you can see, if you just hover, the add-on is really self-explanative and it has these little pop-up windows that explain uh, what that button means, okay? So Overlap Shack, you need to select everything by clicking A, clicking Overlap Check, and it will automatically check if you have islands that are on top of each other. So right here, as an example, you can see that I have a island on top of each other. And this is actually 
on purpose. I want these these areas to have overlapping and sharing the same islands because they are identical on the character. Like the right leg is exactly the same as the left leg. So I uh, purposely overlap the islands. So if I paint on, on the right arm, the same detail will appear on the left arm, okay? Uh, the only problem if that with this is if you have text. So if you plan to paint text on your character, such as this area here, you can see that uh, the text appears mirrored and you really can't read it, okay? So I really don't recommend this technique for... Um, or text, okay, or types on your model uh, if you want to overlap the islands. Uh, moving on, measure area. Measure area will give you a number, 0 0.777, uh, which basically is how tight the islands are together, okay? Validate UVs will actually check for problems on your islands, like if you have double uh, vertices, things like that, any guns, which are faces that have more than five uh, vertices sharing the same face. And basically that's it. Okay, and we have also help and statistics down below that will actually warning us of any problem it encounters. Okay, right now the only problem it gives us is that the the islands are overlapping but that's a that's something that we purposely want so uh there's also pack which will try to reorganize your your islands in a more optimal way and using less space okay so for packing you have two uh processing units option you can use uh, your graphics card or you can use your CPU, okay? And there are some options here that uh, are only available on your CPU or only available by the graphics card. But we'll get into that. You can see here that as I packed that, all my UVs are now scrambled uh, because this was already texture, okay? But um, just as an example, if I click Ctrl Z here, and come back to the original UVs, uh, you can see that uh, besides the packing device, we have some basic options and some advanced options, okay? So uh, when you are packing your islands, you can disable or enable the option for the algorithm to rotate them. So if you want to preserve, let's say, the orientation of this island, be facing this 90 degree angle and don't want to be to be rotated, you can uncheck this, okay? Uh, you can also select uh, the angle of this rotation if you allow this to be uh, rotated in a certain angle. You can post scale, you can um, vary if you want your islands to be preserved in size. This is good for textile density, which, uh, which is another subject. Uh, automatic overlap shack, that's the same thing we mentioned before. Uh, area measurement and validation, which is encountering errors on your mesh. So now here in the advanced options, things start to get interesting because we have a feature called lock overlapping. And what this does is it will treat all the islands that are on top of each other as if it was... Uh, the same single island. So you don't need to reorder your islands after you're packing anymore. So this is really interesting to you. If you pack, you can see we have the same number of islands and they're uh, still on top of each other. So if I select this piece, you can see here, the island continues to be on top of each other. And this is really interesting. And there is also pack to others. Uh, this is great if you have a outside object, like a sphere, and it's now part of your character. So I can click Ctrl J to merge it to, to be uh, another piece of the character, for example. 
And now we have the UVs of this sphere along the, the UVs of the, the new character. If we check back to others, it will preserve uh, all the uh, already packed islands and actually just pack the new island to the already uh, mentioned group. So let's do that. And here it tells us that there is no enough space for that island to fit on the pre-existed space. So let's make it really tiny and click pack. And you can see that it found a spot for the new island uh, here on the UVs. Really great as well. Now, let's say you want to have UDINs on your model. UDINs is actually having one tile for each specific uh, object. And there's more into it, but I'm not going to get really in-depth. The fact is, softwares like Substance Painter support it. And it's really good for VFX models. People in the game industry don't adopt UDINs very much. So if you want to back to UDINs, you can select here um, group to tiles. And in the grouping method, you can select material by material, uh, by similarity of the parts, by mesh parts or object. I'll leave mesh parts checked. I will select everything. And I will come here to pack. And now, as you can see, it, um, it gives us one huge tile for each part. And this won't take account your texel density, which is the relationship of the scaling uh, the islands have to each other. However, it's a really good thing to have in mind. Another great feature this latest version has is the packing box option. And this is really interesting to showcase it. Let's pack it again to the standard single tile. Let's like wait a little bit, 45% going, there we go. It's now packed again. And uh, let's say I want to isolate the parts of my mesh. So let's go to the 3D model here. Let's click B, select the arm, select a little bit more. And this is the all the islands that constitutes the arm of this character. You can see that uh, they are really separated together. Like you have parts from the arm right here and you have parts really on the bottom of the model here. This is really not optional. If another person is painting your model in the software, in a production pipeline, for example, it will get confused what parts belong to each other because the islands are separated on the UV space, right? So let's see, we can group it together. Well, we leave it together. Let's click back again. Let's, let's click G and now we have all the part, uh, parts of the arm in a single tile. Now let's say we want to pack that on a specific part of the, the area here. This is why enable packing box exists. If we click enable packing box and we click draw packing box, it will give us a little uh, warning down here uh, saying that we can left click Pardon my, my vocabulary, uh, it's actually right click and drag the area we want the, the to be packed in. So let's select this area and click pack and you see that all the parts that consist the model here will be packed to this ex exclusive part of the, of the bitmap. Let's click here and there it is. Now it's packed right here. And this doesn't need to be a perfect square. It can be other things like, let's say if I want to draw them to be aligned right on the, this part of the texture, click back again. There it is. It automatically groups all that, those parts to that area of the texture. So this is a really great uh, feature.
And there is also a group moment two, which is a old feature, but I love it. Uh, here, if you select packing mode to group together and method to material, select everything, click back. You can see that if we come here and select only those parts, it will be grouped together. These parts, click select, grouped together uh, as well. Really interesting stuff. It still, however, follows that same algorithm of um, merging the packs in a diagonal basis like this. And for some people, that may be interesting. However, I don't think it's the most uh, smart way of packing that. It would be really interesting if the parts were grouped by tiles on the pack instead of following this uh, squared pattern. But that's it, guys. I will be leaving the download link on the description below. Also, if you're interested in this theme, uh, I created for Blender. I'll also be leaving my Gorold uh, down below where you can you can buy the Steam. There, it comes in three different variations: red, green, and blue. So it's an RGB theme uh, for Blender users. And follow me on Twitter. I also hang around on Twitter uh, with lots of people. I'll also be uh, on the Blender conference on the twenty fifth, I think. And uh, we'll be hanging around there. If you follow me on the conference, uh, we can have a chat. And until next time, see ya.